Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, another use for annotations. Uh, one of my videos, I went against my own advice of cutting up long videos into multiple parts, and instead I have a 13-minute long video that I want to um, I want to make it easier for my viewers to get to certain sections um, I, uh, in this video. Since it is so long, um, I talk about different parts of uh, YouTube's editor, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create annotations for uh, when I talk about each section, basically each feature of the uh, of the editor. So uh, I'm going to separate it by annotations, and when people click on those annotations, they can go to different sections. They don't have to watch the whole entire video. So what it basically does is it acts like a chapter marker uh, in a DVD. So if you can advance to the next track, well, this annotations or these annotations are going to let you do the same exact thing. So let's take a look. Okay, so I uh, kind of jumped the gun here and I uh, did some steps without showing you, but that's no problem. I want to show you and I'm, then I will show you what I did. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to place these little chapter markers, basically annotations, down at the bottom of the screen. I can also put them on the side or the top. Um, actually, you know what? I think I might put them up at the top. So I'm going to drag my annotation up at the top here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to a video. Whoops, it's following me. I'm going to link to a video. And I'm going to start it at a specific time. So I'm going to have, when people click on this annotation, it's going to jump basically advance to right here this time right here so what I'm gonna do is I have the video open in another tab so this what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna find the video and copy the URL and I'm gonna go back to my annotations and paste the video in the link okay so that one is done now if you look at the annotations down here I'm gonna have it running the whole length of the video so it's gonna be on the screen the whole time uh, so what I did was um, I found where in the video I wanted to start and then I created my annotation so let's do that now so I'm gonna go back to the video that I, I'm going to be linking to and I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna find the next section that I want to jump to Okay, so I found my next uh, s jumping point. So um, it's around 219. So I'm going to go back to my annotations. I'm going to add a note. I'm going to position it, probably give it a color. So this is focused on audio. And pick my color here. Is that the right one? Let's see. We'll stick with it for now. I can always change it. Audio. And then I want it to go to a link. I'm going to paste the link. I'm going to come down here, put in my time. All right. And if I wanted to, I could preview the link just to text it and make sure it'll open in a new window and it'll start at the time that I specifically put it after my ad. And there it is. It started right at uh, 2.19 uh, and that's exactly what I wanted. So, okay, so that's good. So now I'm going to, in the timeline down here, let me zoom in a little bit, I'm going to Extend this the whole length of the way. Extend this the whole length of the way. There we go. Good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same process over again. I'm going to find the next section, and I'll create an annotation for that. Okay. When all was said and done, I created my chapters, and I actually have an annotation that says chapters. It doesn't go anywhere when you click it, but now I have editor tour, audio, video editing, titles, and transitions. And now what this is going to do is going to jump to specific places in this long 13 minute video so people don't have to sit the whole time if they don't want to and they can get to some place uh, quicker. So um, here's how it works. I just, uh, let's say I want to see the video tour. I just click this annotation. It's going to jump to the section I want it to. I want to learn about audio. It's going to jump 
to the audio section. I want to learn about video editing. It already jumped. So this is really nice. It's almost like a DVD. Uh, you do have to kind of mess around with the location of the annotations. Uh, I tried them on the left hand side. I've tried them on the right hand side. I even tried them along the bottom. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be dependent on each video. So um, you're going to have to play around with that. Um, and it, putting the thing that says chapters again is a uh, it's just an option it's not you don't have to do that but uh, I figured I'll put it in there just to kind of bring more attention to it and um, so this is just going to add some more interactivity uh, people might not stay on your video as long but if they're skipping ahead to the end they're watching it completely through so that also helps in analytics as well so uh, feel free to mess around with chapter markers uh, with annotations and, uh, and let me know how it works.